<clears throat> folks, folks, I am watching a video here on YouTube called Power Through Prayer by John Hagee. He is one of my favorite pastors and, and, and ministers. He just said, prayer will either make you leave off sinning, sinning, S-I-N, I-N-G, if I'm spelling that correctly. Or, or, sin will make you leave off praying. That whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, Comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. Psalm 100 says, The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Matthew chapter 6 says, If we don't forgive those that have sinned against us, we won't be forgiven. But if we do forgive them, we shall be forgiven. Luke 6 says, Love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them, and, don't, and, and do not be concerned that they might not repay you so lord lord i ask you to give myself and every christian the desire to stay on our knees as much as it would please you for the amount of time that it would please you i confess my sins i forgive all those that have sinned against me I ask, I ask this for myself and all who will ever watch this video in Jesus' holy name. Lord, thank you. Amen.